this is the ideal. Education is a place for us to talk, to talk about the world that we see, for us to, to share our knowledges and our experiences. That's what education is. And the reason why in Africa, storytelling is always depicted as something that was done under a tree or at the fireside was because people recognized, Africans recognized that it was a spiritual experience, that we are talking not just about ourselves, but about the world we are in. And we cannot understand the world unless we are talking to one another. That's what education is. So, as you can see from the picture, there's a tree and there's a mountain. This is very African. As we don't do, I know you people are training to be in the media, but as the real stories are where we can come to terms with our humanity in the midst of the environment we are in. So the stories we tell are not just about us. They are about the stories of the elephant and the, and the hare, about the tortoise about the lion and the antelope. We tell those stories because we recognize that this world is not just about us human beings. We have to talk about the world we are in. So when we speak to each other, we are speaking out of a relationship, which is love. So when I'm speaking to you, me, I thought I am advising students, helping them think about the world because there's a relationship. When you start your thesis, you will need encouragement from each other. You can't write a thesis alone. You need encouragement from your, your fellow friends. I even said, probably I didn't say it enough. You people should meet, have coffee together every now and then so that you can encourage one another as you walk this journey. And then we speak to relate with one another in search for the truth. The truth is in understanding the world. So me, when, I, when my students are in my class, I'm assuming that we are here to talk about the lives that we are leading, the things that we are seeing, because that's what education is, or so I thought. So education is about getting together in search for the truth, together. It's not me coming to tell you things. It's about me saying what I know and you sharing back and telling me what are you hearing, what are you seeing. In a nutshell, this is what it looks like. All right. You can see that um, here we are. We are supposed to be loving one another in the search for knowledge. And the search of knowledge leads us to the truth and the truth leads us to understand the world. And you can see I've put the elements there because part of what is destroying the planet is that we have adopted a culture that doesn't think that the trees and the rivers and the forests and the mountains matter. We treat the planet as if it has no voice and as if it can just keep giving without us giving back. So for us to live in this earth that God gave us, we must love one another and look for the truth together so that we respect the earth in which we have been uh, put by God. And so me in my class, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to say, let's search for the truth together. But that's not what has happened. We've been given this education system that has prevented us from searching for love and the truth. And what it does is that it encloses us. That's what colonialism did. It enclosed us and gave us a new way of looking at life that is not about light, but is about evil. That is not about love, but about exploiting people. And I'm getting to the point about your papers. So then it reduces education to schooling. So you people are coming here not to get knowledge, but to get a paper. And you're coming to my class to get a grade because that's what the DASTA requires. And so it doesn't matter anymore what I have to say. It doesn't matter anymore what knowledge is. What matters is that you get a certificate, 
because you're here to learn to get a job and hopefully get a title, you have masters after your name, then you can say, yeah, I'm somebody. Once truth stops mattering, then this is what you're get being educated for. You're being educated to enter a system of power, inequality and wealth, and that's why you need your masters so that you can have an edge over others who might not have a masters. And to get there, you have to not care about the truth, not care about the process, not care about whether you know anything. What matters is that you have access to the next thing. And then once you build a society like that, which is where we are headed, if we are not already there, then now even the environment stops mattering because we've gotten so used to just grabbing, grabbing, grabbing at any cost. So the environment stops mattering. And then now we start having the problems we are having. Drought, um, rains that are not regular, um, famine, all those things. Because for us, what mattered was not knowledge. It was not care for other people. What mattered was that we have access to power and inequality, and that's why we are not doing the work of thinking. And eventually, what we are creating is a world where what matters more than human beings is profit and control. So this is why students don't do their work. Why should they? Who cares what people know? What matters is that you have a paper and you have a title and you can say you've been here. But what people know, it doesn't matter. How people feel about each other, how people treat one another, it doesn't matter. So this is what I was offering you. I was offering that we do education here, that we learn to think, we learn to read what other people are writing about so that we can be part of the larger world and contribute to a better place where truth matters.